Divas. I'd like to share with you a new kit by Dreamer Design. It's fairly new, uh, new to me anyway. It is called Woodland Church by Abraham Hunter and it is 60 by 80 centimeters. It is by Dreamer Designs. And I'm going to whip you out here so you can see everything that I can find for you. Let me unwrap the plastic around the outside that keeps it from getting damp inside. You get a gorgeous package that has a handle in case you want to travel with your diamond painting kit. It also gives you instructions on how it works, how to do it, and what's contained in the kit. And let me get into the bottom of the box here. Easier said than done sometimes. They have that little locking mechanism here. the bottom. <clears throat> Everything comes in this nicely wrapped bag in case you want to ditch the box at some point. I have two packs of drills in here. Labeled Woodland Church, one and two. I have a canvas wrapped in a purple bow and a fuzzy little tool bag. I get a lot of pleasure just out of playing with the tool bag <laughs> when I'm doing these canvases. Let me bring you over here further so I can, so I'm in the middle of everything here. Things seem to be like here. All right. They get crooked on me every once in a while. All right, let's look in the fuzzy little tool bag and see what we get. This is a square drill kit. I love square drills, and you don't have to be afraid of square drills from Diamond, uh, from yeah, Dreamer Designs because they always have fantastic drills. I've never had a problem with their square drills popping off of the canvas or anything like that. They do a fantastic job with it. In a Dreamer Design kit, you get. Let's start with the white boats with the spouts on them. Branded. You get a bag of baggies to help you kit up or preserve your extra diamonds. You get two pens, one with a plastic tip on it for your Aurora Borealis, your AB drills, and so it doesn't scratch anything special. And then you get your copper tip. You get two purple squishies. You get some multi-placers. You get a straightener and you get a two-placer and a fat four-placer. I love four-placers, but I don't use the fat ones. Just so you know. And with a square kit, you get a uh, tweezers with a sharp end on it, with a protector on it. And you get two pots of wax, more than enough. More than enough to do your painting. And I'm going to put the drill kit off to the side for a moment while we take a look at the canvas. It is wrapped in a beautiful purple bow. Dreamer Designs are purple kits. <laughs> I'm going to roll this backwards so that it gets the, it lies flatter when I, so I can show it to you. You will hear the stiffness of the canvas as I'm doing that. You get a glimpse at these gorgeous colors that you will see shortly in the kit. I'll show you that in a moment. And it comes on a foam roller, which I'm going to put to the side. You'll notice that every Dreamer Design kit, the canvas has a pinked and poked edge which means that it's got like a, a pinking shears cut and poked as if with an empty sewing machine needle. That prevents fraying. And before we get into this, I want to show you the paperwork that comes with it. You get a full um, how-to sheet on here, and you get invitations to their social medias on the other side. 
what you'll also see is a strip of the legend of the drills. You'll see a sequence number, a symbol for it, and the DMC color code number on the other side. Now, Diamond uh, Dreamer Designs have their ABs on the bottom end of their list. They begin with an AB number, and there are three in this kit. And we will search out those among the drills when we look at them. Okay. I like to fold this. And these um, must be an older kit. They're not individually... Uh, they're stickers, but they're not individually broken apart. So that's okay. Um, that's fine. In fact, they, they stay on the, the strip a little easier <laughs> if you do that. All right, we'll look at that in a moment. Let me, let's look at the canvas first. <laughs> Can you see the confetti of colors? And that means a lot of colors in a small area. And that is very true to this form. At the top of their canvas, you'll get all the information you need, including a thumbnail and the dimensions and that it is legally licensed from the artist. In this case, who happens to be Abraham Hunter. Now, <clears throat> I'll show you the bottom of the canvas first. In it, I see, uh, I see a waterfall with a little footbridge over top of it and a riot of colors in the summertime grasses. You see the waterfall? You can see the rocks in the waterfall. And all the riot of grasses and colors along the edges. That's the bottom of the painting. As you come up along the side, you can see a tree starting here. I am going to hold that under a bit so you can see the center. You can see the church coming out on top here. It is a woodland church. It reminds me of a church in the Poconos that I drive past all the time. Um, on the way up to the Poconos, you see evergreen trees in the back. You have some uh, geese flying in the sky. You have a this awesome, well, there's the footbridge. And you have a tree coming up the side and red, uh, you know, fall colors of the leaves. This must be a fall type of painting and the, the fall leaves on this tree as well. It's a very color saturated painting and I love it. I love it, love it, love it. It just reminds me of the Poconos in the fall. Okay, I am going to lay this out so that you can take a gander, I think gander, beast, get it? You can <laughs> look at this while we're finding the drills and how they come out. Let's check out these drills. <clears throat> We're looking for three ABs. Dreamer Design likes to put them next to each other in their strip, which is awesome. And I think that's in the other bag, but that's okay. Whew. Oh, goodness. I love these saturated colors. I, oh, there's one. There's the A. And there's the other two. All right, let's... Put that on the end of the strip here. I'll show you those in a moment. All right. There we go. There's some of the browns. Back in the little baggie as I'm going so we don't do it twice here. And look at that orange. Woo! Some olive greens. darker olive greens. I apologize for the traffic noise out the back here. The reds, the pinky reds. The 666 is the Christmas red that you often see in kits. more of the flame orange for the leaves. 
more of the greens that offset that. Brilliant yellows. And a light, like a cornflower blue. white, a greenish, very lightly mint green, a baby blue, more pinks and browns and more greens. If you haven't used a Dreamer design kit yet, I encourage you to do so. Beautiful, beautiful kits, saturated colors, and hey, if you're into color therapy like I am, I'm telling you, great stress reliever. Just to play with the colors is a great stress reliever. Okay. Pack this up in there, little baggie. I'll show you the other one. for the crinkles. I hope it's more of an ASMR than a, an annoyance for you. Alrighty. Here we go. Let's unroll these. Deep, deep green. Pink. Burgundies. Tans. Blues. Over to the oranges. There we go. Back in the baggio. There we go. Kind of like a peach. More blues. I imagine that's for the water. We have purple moths in here. Dark purples. That'd be beautiful. And the chartreuse. You ever wondered what a chartreuse color is? This is it. Okay. Here's a dark blue, more rusty reds, and greens, and yellows, and peachy colors, and blues, more burgundy, more pink. That's like my mom's favorite combination together, burgundy and pink. If you don't like the... Um, the crinkly noises, you may just want to put it on mute. I should have said that before I started, but you want to may you may want to put it on mute until I'm done with the colors here, the color trains. Don't forget to like and subscribe while you're down there with the mute button. There we go. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps YouTube determine which videos to send to others who like crafting. And it helps me share the love of crafting with others. I like to put the, the strips inside the baggie of colors. It's easier to match to the canvas later on. Here are the AB drills. We have a, we have a light yellow a Williamsburg type dusty blue and two of the whites. So let's see, the whites are going to be the zeros and that's going to be the foam in the uh, the water here and it looks like it's in the, uh, the church itself up in here and in the sky. 
around the mallards. We have the uh, the V, um, like the arrow down V. You have find that all in the water so far. So far, any more in the sky? I do not see them in the sky. I do not see them, Sam. I am. Where is it? Uh, they're mostly in the water. They're all in this watery thing so far. And the letter P, which I think is the yellowish one. Well, that's brilliantly in the, the grasses. The yellow in the grasses. Definitely. And in the trees. That's going to be, that's a prolific one. Very prolific one. So, not only do you have this special sparkle in the water, you have the sparkle in the church itself, and then you have the yellows dancing all over the painting. Well, if you like, if you like landscapes, you're going to like an Abraham Hunter. If you like color, you're going to love Dreamer Designs for the saturated colors that they come in. So, I hope you consider this painting, and um, as we do it together, I do whip and chats on Tuesday nights live. So you can join me from 10 p.m. to 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Tuesday nights and join the Work Basket family. Okay, thank you for coming along for the ride, and I'll see you soon. Bye, divas.